In explosive news, former New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian has been found to have engaged in serious corrupt conduct by the state's corruption watchdog. Today's report found serious issues with Berejiklian's conduct in relation to two government grants, as well as failures to disclose some pretty important information. To fill you in, in 2020, the Independent Commission Against Corruption, or ICAC, had been investigating Wagga Wagga MP Daryl Maguire over allegations of corrupt conduct, but later widened its inquiry to include Gladys Berejiklian after it was revealed the then Premier had been in a secret, close personal relationship with Maguire for several years. You might remember revelations about their relationship made waves when it was first revealed in ICAC hearings back in 2020 because Berejiklian had never disclosed it to anyone. That failure to disclose the relationship and whether it influenced decisions that would benefit Maguire are a big part of the findings released on Thursday. In today's report, the ICAC has found Berejiklian breached the public trust in relation to a $5.5 million grant awarded to the Australian Clay Target Association in Wagga. ICAC found Berejiklian was in a position of conflict of interest between her public duty and her private interest, which could objectively have the potential to influence the performance of her public duty. The ICAC also found Berejiklian breached the public trust in relation to a $10 million grant for the Riverina Conservatorium of Music, which she knew was being advanced by Maguire. Now, aside from the two grants, the ICAC has also found Berejiklian substantially breached the ministerial code by failing to declare her relationship with Maguire. I had very strong feelings for him, but I didn't feel the relationship was at a stage where I would um, introduce him necessarily to my parents or my sisters or need to declare it, but I don't want to underscore what I felt. She told ICAC the relationship lasted for many years and the couple discussed the idea of having a child. If there was any suspicion of corruption, any information I thought I could pass on to this body, of course I would have done that. Was it affected by your personal feelings for Mr Maguire? No. Gosh. Now finally, you might remember during ICAC hearings into this, that phone taps were played between Berejiklian and Maguire. And the good news is that we've done our deal. So hopefully that's about half of all that gone now. That's good. Mm. I don't need to know about that bit. No, you don't. In today's findings, the ICAC found Berejiklian's failure to report suspicions that Maguire engaged in corrupt conduct to itself be serious corrupt conduct on her part. Now, what does this all mean? Well, the ICAC's report also found Maguire engaged in serious corrupt conduct, and it said it was seeking advice as to whether Maguire should be prosecuted, as well as two other individuals. Berejiklian won't face any criminal charges, and it's important to note both Berejiklian and Maguire had denied any wrongdoing. Now this is all still pretty fresh and reactions to this news are still trickling through. If you want to know more about the investigation, my colleague Tamsin Rose has explained Operation Keppel here.